Hello students, in this lecture we will learn about the forces that act on the body. There are many types of forces that act on the body and they have different effect on the body in terms of deformation. There are forces like compressive, tensile. So we will learn about these forces in this lecture. Force is also called load in strength of material. There are many ways in which we can categorize load. One of the way is as mentioned here, we can categorize the load as concentrated load or distributed load. In concentrated load, the force act at a point and in the distributed load, the force is distributed over some span. So for example, like if I'm having a bar and at the center, it is acted by a load 1 kilo Newton. So now you can see this load is acting on a point. So that's why it is called a point load or we can also call it a concentrated load. So similarly, if there is a load that is like I, if I put a weight on a portion of this, suppose this is the weight and it is distributed over the span of length A. So now it is not present on the one point and it is supported by a span of the beam or a bar. That's why it is called distributed load. So distributed load can further be classified under as uniformly distributed load. We call it UDL. Uniformly distributed load means the load distribution is uniform over the length or it can be varying load. So I'm not going in depth of that because we will study about this in the, in the further chapters. One way is this and we can also we can also classify it further as axial load and shear load. So if I go to axial load, axial or direct forces are those forces which act along the axis of the body and their act line of action is perpendicular to the area. For example, now here you can see it is further classified into two types that is compressive load and tensile load. When the forces tend to increase its length, then we call it tensile load. And when the forces tend to decrease its length, then we call it compressive load. So compressive forces and tensile forces are the part of axial forces and they act normal to the area and their tendency is to decrease or increase the length and simultaneously we know that the volume of this bar is a constant one so if the length increases obviously its cross section will decrease so this is about axial forces another is shear forces these are the forces which act parallel to each other but their line of action is different for example now you can see here that you can see here that this force f is acting on the top layer and the opposite direction force is acting on the bottom layer so their uh, line of action is different. So the tendency of these forces is to make the portion slide over each other. So it they will try to slide, the layers will try to slide, slide over. So this is called shear of the body. And the effect of shear is tearing of the body. And now here the forces act tangential to the area and tends to slide one layer over the other. So I hope that it is very clear how we classify the load. 
so based upon these loads we classify the stresses generated in the body in the next lecture